Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, just not getting out of school. Like I said, I'm going for uh, my, you know, my associate's degree in criminal justice. Um, but as I, you know, as I got out of school, you know, after I got out of the class here, I, um, you know, I, and I, I want to make this YouTube because, like, I, like I said, I get this is something else I get asked a lot. As you both all, as you all know, yes, like I've, I've, I've told you, I do have a wheelchair. Um, as I said, you know, as I'm born with spina, you know, spina bifida, um, there is different, like I said, stages. Mine is just my balance. Now, here's a question for that I want to ask you guys: How many times, or how many times do you all see somebody that's in a wheelchair or has a wheelchair? Um, how many times do you see somebody that has a wheelchair a part of a, of a fire department? Let me ask you that. Not very many, do you? Um, about the last eight years now, so not about the last eight years, I have also done volunteer fire. Now, I don't go out with them, you know, as far as how they do, you know, um, my, you know, and some of, some of the things I do are, you know, clean trucks, answer, you know, try to answer, you know, answer calls. Um, you know, I'll help with the events, you know, like Halloween or whatever, you know, anything events that's going on. Um, now, as far as that goes, do I try to be up there? You know, do I try to be up when a call goes, you know, if a call goes off? Sure I do. Um, you know, like the rest of them? No, I may not hear, you know, hear it when, you know, hear something when it goes off, but I do try. Um, what started me with the fire department, you might be asking yourself, oh, when I was little, you know, as a little kid, you know, I used to play with, you know, like the remote control, you know, fire trucks. And I always said to myself, man, you grow up, this is what you want to do, you know, go for it. Um, you know, yeah, I, so, you know, no, I don't make a lot of the calls. I don't get to make, you know, don't get to get, get out there all with all of them. Um, do I try still? Yes. Um, with that being said, you know, that's half your battle. Um, you know, doctors, like I said, when I, when I, you know, when I was born, doctors, you know, told my parents that, uh, worst case scenario, that I'd never walk, talk, eat, sleep, pretty much be a vegetable. Long story short, just because of having, um, you know, being more, you know, with the spina bifida. Now, like I said, there's different, you know, stages of that. Mine is just my balance. Um, you know, just like everybody else, I, I, <laughs> I still get out and drive. I still get out and do just like everybody else does, you know. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was something, you know, like I said, when I, when I heard all that, um, you know, of what doctors were saying, that was one of my things I said, you know what? They're telling me, you know, it's going to be more than that. And really, like I said, it's just my balance. That's all. That's the only, that's the only thing that's ever made me, you know, kept me, you know, to have the wheelchair. So that being said, you know, like I said, growing up, I used to, I used to play around with the, you know, the remote control fire trucks and, and, uh, be around that stuff, you know, so being when I grew up, you know, I said, you know what, this is what I want to do. And, uh, so yeah, for the last eight years, I've gotten to do that. And, uh, you know, even though I may not be on the trucks, you know, getting to, you know, actually going on with them, it's still like, a, to me, it's still like a dream, you know, um, it's, and it's something that I love to do is being able to help somebody else out. Uh, and I'll tell you what, being able to help other people out is is a rewarding feeling. You know, you get to, you know, when you can help somebody else out, you get to go home and think, man, I really hope that person out, you know. And I'll tell you this, even though I'm, like, even though I'm sitting down, you know, like, with the with the wheelchair, um, you get that, you know, you, like I said, you get that, you still get that rewarding feeling 
uh, heck, you know, there's times I'll be out going somewhere, maybe, you know, maybe it's Christmas shopping or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. And I'll get, a, you know, I'll get a little kid or, you know, some, you know, a little child, you know, maybe they'll be with their, their sibling, you know, maybe their parent, aunts, uncles, maybe, you know, who are, you know, or whoever the case may be, they, they might be with. And they'll say, look, mommy, daddy, or whoever they're with, firefighter. And they'll point right at me. And uh, I'll tell you what, the first time... The first time that, that somebody did that, I'll tell you what, yes, it got me choked. It brought tears in my eyes. And I thought, man, you know, little kids notice that, you know. And, it, you know, even though I'm not actually out with them, you know, you know, on the trucks and doing what, you know, like most people have, um, at least not right now, you know, until maybe, I, you know, I get my legs stronger and get walking. But, you know, that's... That was, you know, that was my dream when I was a little kid, um, to be able to do something like that. And, you know, now I'm getting the chance to do it. Um, like I said, no, I don't get the chance to make every call. You know, sometimes I don't hear it like they do, you know, or, or as much as they do. But I still do. <laughs> I still try my I still try my hardest to get there. And I still try my hardest to, you know, fulfill that, that dream, you know. And, you know, like I said, even though I don't get to... Maybe, you know, that I'm not up running and jumping, you know, it's still, it, you still get that rewarding feeling knowing that you can help somebody. And that's the one feeling that I love is, is being able to know that I help somebody. Um, you know, it's just a feeling, you know, you really can't explain it. It's, it's, it's a rewarding, it's a rewarding feeling. It's so just a rewarding feeling to know that you can help somebody. And that's exactly what I always try to do my best, um, to be able to help somebody else. So, uh, really, I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep trying to do as many uh, YouTubes as I can. Um, I know some days it's, you know, after like, so if I do something, it's going to be, it's kind of slow till I do my next one. Like I said, I'm trying as best as I can, do as much as many as I can. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm with, with school. But I try to, you know, I'll still try to do either, you know, do something at least after school um, with the videos. Because, like I said, one of my goals on here with doing YouTube is being able to inspire others. You know, as I was saying, like with me being with the fire department, um, how I've had so many people... Uh, especially for little kids, uh, you know, they'll see me out and around, you know, going through the mall or, you know, doing like, like, with like Christmas shopping and all that. They'll see me like, and they'll point at me like firefighter, you know, and, uh, that right there, it tells me that, oh, wait a minute, little kids pointing at you saying firefighter, even though you're sitting down and, uh, you know, that right there makes me feel like, Wow, you made an impact on just a little kid, and that's one of my that's one of my that's one of my goals with this is being able to put you know a positive impact on others, you know, because I look at it this way, you know, like I said, with me being having like I, like like I am with the with the wheelchair, you know, people look at that and think, wow, well, that's a disability. Okay, I can see that. But let me ask you this. Or let me say this. Yes, it's a disability. Which causes a challenge, right? But listen to me on this. Nothing's impossible. It's a challenge, sure. But never impossible. And that's what I told myself. I thought, you know what? And this this is something I want to do. By golly, I'm going to do it. You know? Um, like I said, with that being said, um, whatever dreams you got, whatever goals you got, keep going. It's yours. I don't. No matter what that goal or dream is, keep going. Keep giving it all you got. Um, 
nothing's going to happen overnight. It's not going to just, you're not just going to go, you know, like today, say maybe you will say, oh, I want to be a doctor today or I want to be a lawyer. And then tomorrow, you know, I want to be a lawyer or a doctor tomorrow. And then wake up tomorrow and like, oh, now I'm, you know, now I'm a doctor. You know, it doesn't happen like that. Yeah, sometimes I, some things I wish would. But let me tell you this. It doesn't happen like that. Patience, time, be confident. Be yourself, man. Keep that smile on your face. And honestly, keep being proud of who you are. You know? Yeah, I know sometimes can be things can be scary, but you know what? That's part of it. Keep being yourself. Keep staying confident. Keep that smile on your face. And then keep being you. So there again, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, you know, this is something, like I said, I was asked to do. If, or if I would. And um, honestly, this wasn't something that, that was an honor for me to uh, post on YouTube. Because, um, you know, that's something that I enjoyed being able to be a part of. Like I said, with the fire department like that I've done. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this. Um, hit that subscribe button if you would. And like I said, I appreciate all the ones, everybody that has subscribed. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate all of that. Um, appreciate y'all. Um, keep being yourself. Keep smiling. And I will hopefully sometime here soon again, I'm gonna post in something else. So... But until then, keep your heads up, keep smiling, keep being you.